Look at the state of that water. You wouldn't want to go swimming in it, but... Head to the beach here in California. There is every chance you could be. These fish are, and within seconds of being dropped into it, they are in a bad way. The lab folks here have uh, put eight butts in two litres of water and circulated this for 24 hours. This stuff is called leachate. It's water polluted with chemicals from discarded cigarettes. The fish vomiting, struggling to breathe. It tells us what we can potentially experience as chemical toxicity. And the fear is that we are being exposed to those chemicals on a grand scale here in the world's waters. Because while plastic pollution is a big problem, discarded cigarette butts appear to be an even bigger one. It's a chronic, long-term pollutant in the environment. Officially recognized now as the most commonly littered item in the US, indeed the world. The most picked up item on beaches for the last 30 years and many more being washed out to sea. When you look at a cigarette, most people are going to think the filter, it's a bit of paper, throw it away, it's fine. What, why, what's the problem here? Well, it's not paper. It's actually plastic. It's cellulose it acetate, paper, co paper, paper coating. coating. And that actually deteriorates in the environment, but the plastic cellulose acetate filter doesn't. It stays years. The big challenge here is how do you stop cigarette butts from ending up on the beach in the first place? And of course, the obvious answer is ban smoking. Make it illegal on every beach. But then you've got the problem of how on earth do you police miles and miles of coastline? On top of that, there's another issue, and that is that many cigarette butts don't start life on the beach. They come from residential areas. And when it rains, the storm drains take the trash, including the butts, and wash it out into the ocean. Nicotine was also found in the fish tissues. That means the butts and their contents. Thermal chemicals are actually quite persistent. Which is what this lab has been investigating and leading to the obvious question. Presumably that means that the chemicals go into the fish, we eat them. Exactly. What happens to us? Exactly. We don't really know, you know, that what happened to us. You know, that's, the, that's another part of the question. Of course, humans are exposed to so many chemicals. But, you know, we never thought about, like, a cigarette disposal could come back to us and to, you know, we may take up those chemicals. For those who hate the thought of it, like these students... We picked up about 47 cigarettes on our 5 metre by 100 metre stretch. And the surfers... It disgusts me that much. I'll, every day, almost, I'll go down the beach and pick stuff up. It is a problem they will likely never beat. But for this campaigner, there is one radical suggestion ban filters altogether. If we can get filters out of the environment, it's very likely that that'll improve the environment, but also at the same time, it'll discourage people from smoking. It'll make it less comfortable to smoke. It'll uh, help uh, uh, demystify this issue of the filter being a health benefit. A toxic habit, not just for smokers, but for nature too. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, San Diego.